Welcome to another video from inzara.com. In this video, we will be discussing the recruitment tracker template for Google Sheets. I have so far created and published more than 60 different Excel templates. And during this time, I've received many requests from customers asking for Google Sheets versions of my Excel templates. And so I've decided to start publishing them. So this will be the first Google Sheets template that I publish here. And if you are looking for any specific Excel template to be converted to Google Sheets, please post the name of the template in the comment section below. And that'll be very helpful for me to prioritize which ones to convert first. Now, having said that, let's get into this specific template, which is about tracking recruitment of a specific job or a position. If you are responsible for hiring um, for a specific role, then you can use this template to keep track of the candidates that have applied and then where in the recruitment process each candidate is. And then the dashboard will allow you to get a quick view on how effective your recruitment process is and then how many active applications are currently in the pipeline and all that information is readily available to you. In this video, I will do a live demo of the template and explain how you can use this template to track recruitment in your company as well. Now, this is the template and uh, this is the version where I have some sample data already entered. When you get your own link, it'll, act, it'll not have any data so you can type in your own information directly in it. Now for illustration, I'm gonna use this uh, version and the info sheet has the product page link. This is the page uh, on inzara.com, which is gonna have screenshots and video you know, demo uh, and all that about how to use this template. In the video description below, there'll be a link to inzara.com where you can go and get this template. Now, once you get to that link, you would want to open the file and then do make a copy because that is how you can make a copy of this in your own Google Drive. So for example, when you do that, you'll see you know, the folder to which you want to copy it to, and this is just my folder in my Google Drive. In yours, you can save it wherever you would like, and then from then on, that's your file, and you can make changes as you need and edit them. Now, once you've done that, you're ready to start using this template. We'll start with the setting sheet where you will enter some basic information about the um, job that you are recruiting for and the job title, you can type in something and then the recruiter, you can type your own recruiter name and then the posted job posted date will be the date when you started um, you know, accepting applications and that's the date when you posted the job uh, as an opening. And then you have the stages information. There, are four, there can be four stages before you hire a candidate. So in this case, by default, I have application, HR interview, manager interview, and offer. It could be application, phone screen, or you know, interview and offer. So I can just go in here and then change the stage. And this is how you can customize it to meet, um, to suit your company's um, processes. The decline reasons, you can enter up to 10 different decline reasons. And then, you know, for example, if I have another reason like salary was the reason why um, the candidate did not successfully go through and you can enter that so you can enter up to 10 and then we'll get to the um, we'll get to the hired applicant and the hired date just in a bit after you enter this information you are now ready to go into the data sheet before that i want to highlight here that this template is to track only one job at a time and so you cannot make a copy of the sheet and then do it for another uh, opening in your company. If you want to do that, I would recommend make a complete copy of the file for each job you're hiring for. And I will be soon working on a version where you can have multiple jobs and multiple positions all in one Google Sheets. However, I have not um, gotten to that yet. So if you're interested in that version of the template, please you know, in, uh, express your interest in the comment section below. And now well, let's move on to the data sheet. So in the data sheet, we have all these um, rows, each row indicate an application. So enter totally 15 applications 
and uh, this is the applicant name column and then the next we have four date columns and if you remember we set those four stages and we renamed that even and they come through here so you can um, type down the date when applicant one reached the application date that is the date when the applicant uh, submitted the application to you as a recruiter and then the phone screen date is the date when you did a phone screen with that specific applicant and that's the date you would put in and so here for example the manager interview was done on the 16th however there was no offer date that means that we did not give an offer to the um, specific applicant instead we decided to close the application so the status represents uh, the status of the application so in this case when we close something that means that we have made a decision and in this case we didn't even offer so we did not hire this person and so this application is closed which means there has been a decision taken and then you would go in and put the decline reason as one of the from the drop down if you remember we put the decline reason in the stage um, setting sheet and you can choose from that drop down here and then you can also put some comments in uh, or notes about that specific applicant in the comments column uh, please do not edit the column I which is the stage uh, this represents which stage in the recruitment process is a specific applicant in and this is calculated with a formula here so if um, you edit the formula then the results will be different so please do not edit the calculation here in column I if you do want more columns uh, of information to store you're welcome to store it here or you also can insert uh, before this um, column I now when you get new applications then you just keep entering you know something like the name of the new applicant and then you can type in okay so this is the date when we receive the application great and so we haven't done a phone screen so we are still waiting on it so this applicant is an active applicant which we are still evaluating so this is how you can continue to enter applications that you have received for that specific job and you can keep tracking the dates of uh, certain specific activities for each application that's it now you're ready to go to the dashboard in the dashboard you will see that the status says hiring because we still haven't hired the person for the role there are total 16 applications it's been 77 days since we started hiring there have been nine closed applications so far and seven active applications. So the nine closed applications, you can see the funnel performance, nine applications, seven of them went to the phone screen, five to the manager interview, and one of them went to the offer stage. So this is how the funnel um, looks. And you can see that there is a drop off at each stage. The biggest drop off is from the manager interview to the offer. And this, would, this is very helpful information for you to fine tune your recruitment process in order to make it more efficient as you see. The decline reasons represents um, the specific um, uh, closed applications where the decline reasons have been given. You can see that 33% of the time it was culture fit, 22% technical, 22% experience. And so this is because we have not probably put in um, decline reasons for all the applications so here we have an applicant where we closed and um, you know this probably is experience i'm just going to put salary here i'm going to go back here now you see that it's fully populated with all the decline reasons so generally when you close an application please uh, put in the decline reason um, that by that way you are having uh, you're going to get good insights into you know why the decline um, happened finally the active pipeline represents how many applications are in each of the stages so you can see that the seven applications that are still open are active two of them are in the application stage four are in the phone screen stage and one in the offer stage and this is also very helpful information for you to know how far um, is are these applications in the active pipeline so this is the dashboard that automatically updates for you and then when you have when you're ready to uh, hire a person or when you've chosen who the person you want to hire for then you go come in here choose that applicant and then type in the date um, when you 
hired and also the name of the person. Then when you go to the dashboard, now the status will say hired and then the 16 applications and we basically are closing all the 16 applications. We have closed all the 16 applications because we have put the status as hired. So when you put the status as hired, everything gets automatically closed. And when you see the active applications is seven, that means that you have not put a closed status for those. So I would recommend going back and say, okay, now you have hired the person. Now we would want to, you know, put a reason for why we did not proceed with these um, other um, applications. So I would go in and change them to closed. I would also make sure that I am putting in the reason why we decided not to move forward. And so when I go to the thing, there's still one applicant or application that is open. So I've closed them. I go back to the dashboard. No, none of them in the active stage. And then 16 applications, 16 are closed. And you can see the different breakdown of the culture fit and all this. And once again, the more, um, you know, accurate information you put in the decline region, the better insights you're gonna get. So make sure that you put them in there when you are uh, have completed hiring. So that is all this template does. So if you have a new job, then you can make a copy of the file and then start entering the data for that new job. If you have any questions about how this template works or if you have any suggestions on how to make this better, let me know. If you're interested in the Excel version of the template, I'll put a link to that in the video description as well. And um, I really look forward to your feedback on this template and uh, your interest in other Google Sheets templates. Thank you very much for watching.